Hi everyone, Al again. Um, been asked some more questions on these push button damn WCs um, like this one here. Um, I've got a couple of videos up already on um, certain repairs, but there is a really easy way um, of fixing one of these um, if you've got the usual problem of water running down into the back of the pan, making a stream of water down there. Um, or also, when you flush it sometimes, it just keeps um, running in and uh, it doesn't actually shut off. You get this trickle, keep going, it keeps going. Um, now, um, I've done a couple of other videos as I say, but this one is the easiest of the lot to check and do. And this one takes you no time at all. Um, I'm gonna shut the water off to mine, but you don't actually even need to turn the water off if you don't want to. Um, I'm gonna shut the water off on my valve though, uh, and just show you how easy this one is to check and do a really easy fix on it, okay? So first we'll take the lid off, okay? Take your lid off. And if you've got this type of system, which most, most of you do, uh, there is another type, but this is the general um, number one type of, of um, push button. Um, obviously, make sure the overflow is not running down there, obviously, because if that's the case, and you just need to adjust your ball valve or uh, renew the ball cock. If you find you've got water running down, this overflow, okay, I know I have enough, I've got it finely adjusted. Okay, so the main fix, fairly simple. We twist it out first of all, like so. We put it out. Okay, you see it flashing now. All right, now I'm going to show you exactly all you need to do to fix these things. Right, here is our siphon. Um, as you can see, the push button mechanism works like this. Okay, you push the button, obviously, and it goes up and down. Um, now, if you look at the bottom of this, you'll see there's a washer here. Now, you can get a replacement washer, but there is a really easy fix to that, and that is to take this washer off and turn it around the other way. Okay, so see if we can put it off, get them off, and you turn them around the other way. And it usually always fixes it, because if you look there, you can see there's a wear mark around that, um, where it's been worn on the side of the system. So we're just going to put them off and put them around the other way. And it's a little bit tricky, but just grab over it, make sure you don't rip the washer off completely, and get a good grip on it. It's a bit, if it's wet, it's a bit more awkward, like so. This one's wet and sticky. Yeah. There you go, and once you, once you get it going, okay, put it off. Okay, and you, can, you can see the wear side of the washer there, look, that rubber ring there, you can see that mark. Okay, so what I suggest is turn him up the other way. Okay, so we're gonna turn him upside down, which is this way, and put him back on. Put him down there. And put him on, pretty easy. Okay, that's it really. Um, Make sure there's no swarf or anything on the washer. It's nice and clean. Okay, and also make sure, I'll just take the camera, that there is um, no swarf around the inner bend there. Make sure there's nothing underlying around this. This is what it sits on. Okay, make sure that is, is perfectly clean with nothing on it at all. Okay, if there is, remove it and get rid of it. Okay, so then we literally just bang our thing back in. Okay, get the siphon and stick it back in the slot. You'll feel the, the right place for it to drop. It's usually just around about here somewhere and pull him back. Okay, you'll feel because you can't pull it up. Okay, so we do that one again if you like. All right, just put it down. There we are, it's out. Now we're going to put it in. Just keep twisting until it sits in its slot properly. There it is in, and pull it round, and we're in the slot. Okay, line it up square with your buttons, with the system like so, uh, and we just stick the lid back on. And uh, mine's one of these ones with the, with the detachable buttons that are stuck on the lid. Others are not. Some are screwed down. Okay, so if you've got a screwed down one, um, it is slightly different. But uh, otherwise, not too bad. Um, we stick our lid on now. Right, that's our lid on. And uh, now we just turn our water back on, um, back on the, the pop valve down there. Put our water back on. You can do this with the water on if you like, but all it means it will be running into the um, pan the whole time you do it, but you can actually leave the water on if you haven't got one of these valves um, to, to switch it off with. There we go, mine's back on. And that is around about the little job. So I have a couple of other videos on that, but um, that's the easiest solution of all. Uh, just turn that rubber wash around and sit it back down, it usually is the answer. Okay, thanks very much for watching, Derek and 33, all my videos. Thanks again, bye bye. Oh, don't forget to visit my website. Thank you, bye bye.